Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about my 1862 Pocket Police by her birdie. So I just got back from the range, you can see it is very dirty. So let's go over the videos from that and talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it. See y'all at the range. And of course we got to load my pocket police so we're going to go ahead and put it on half cot and I'm going to load it with 15 grains of black powder. Then I'm going to go ahead and use a .380 round ball. Going to grab my rammer, put it through the slot, and just grab the hammer in, hit it on in. Then of course you just repeat the process four more times. Now I really, really prefer was because they're just so much cleaner and easier to do. But I'm out was for my 30 sits and also out was for my 44. So today I'm using some homemade lube that I'm going to go ahead and um, put in the cylinder to keep the barrel lubricated for the balls and everything. Now it's time to cap it. And I'm going to use CCI number 11s to cap. And I'm also using my Star Capper by Polish Cappers. And of course I'm going to use my wooden dial after I'm done with this. Just to make sure everything is set all the way. Now it's time for the fun part and see how she shoots. Yep, and this is where the irritation begins. Two shots in. And already a major cap jam. So here is my last five rounds of the day. And I do want to say that on my last video, I only shot this one, one five rounds, and I didn't have any problems with the new slit shot. But this one kind of reminded me of the old day without the slit shot nipples, but not as bad. And I know that's probably really hard to believe. 
so that's my biggest complaint is I definitely go ahead to get extra mainspring so that there's two in there and that hopefully will solve this issue uh, with these cat jams but this ended up being the best round I had today so with the three inch barrel on this pocket please aiming dead center all the shots were going to the upper right shoulder as you can see here with that tight group in the shoulder and also it's a bad idea to try to conduct the windage with the camera in your way so that was me try to get a center over there anywho that's all i have today hopefully eventually i'll be able to find a extra mainspring and y'all have a good day we'll keep you updated on this project